Hi guys, welcome to Sample of Mess Daily Revisions. I hope that uh, you are safe wherever you are. Don't forget to subscribe if you didn't subscribe yet for more beneficial revisions of Mess Pass Exam questions. And after you subscribe, you must click on that bell button for notifications. So today I've got uh, this Mess Pass Exam question. So I'm going to pick only a few questions because of time. I'll pick only a few questions that I think uh, you need my help on, the, on them, on how to solve them. Then we solve them together and I'll prove them as well. Right, uh, let me start with this one. Factorize completely. Y squared plus 10Y minus 24. Remember, if you've got a question like this, what you have to do is you must find factors of our constant that will give us the middle term. Now, what are the factors of 24 that will give us positive 10? It's 12 and 2, yes. So it's going to be y plus 12, y minus 2. That will be our final answer. Remember, this is the simplest method, the fastest method, the shortest method. As I always tell you, there are so many ways to kill a cat, but I'm going to prove it. When we expand this, our answer must be that. So let's expand it. Y times Y is going to be Y squared. Y times negative 2 is going to be negative 2Y. Then 12 times Y to be positive uh, 12Y. 12 times negative 2, it will be negative 24. Remember, as you'll be expanding, the first term, it will multiply the second bracket. And also the second term multiplied the second bracket. Right, now our answer is going to be y squared plus 10y minus 24. Like this. This will be our final answer. Remember, negative 2y plus uh, 12y, our answer will be 10y. So, it's the same. Meaning, 100% correct. Proved. Now let me choose second question. Our second question, 27 minus 3x squared, factorize completely as well. 27 minus 3x squared. I always tell all people that are studying mathematics that if you are asked to factorize completely and you have got two terms and a negative in between, it must tell you that it's difference of two squares. But in this case, we don't have perfect squares. Remember, you can only apply the concept of difference of two squares if you do have perfect squares. So 27 and, and 3, they are not perfect squares. So what are you going to do? Remember, factorization to factorize is to take out common factors, which will be highest common factors. So what you have to do, you can start by taking out the highest common factor. Then you are going to see something. Let's take out the highest common factor, which is 3. So it will be 9 minus x squared. Did you notice something? In our bracket now we have got difference of two squares. You can apply the concept of difference of two squares because 9 and x squared, they are perfect squares. Yes. And the question was saying factorize completely. It means if you end here, you are not going to get all the marks. Because you factorized, yes, but not completely. So to factorize completely, now we apply the concept of difference of two squares in this bracket. So it will be 3, 3 plus x, 3 minus x. Some might want to start with 3 minus x and then 3 plus x is still one and the same thing. It's more like uh, saying your name, starting with the same name and then your first name, or your first name, then the same name is still one and the same thing. Right, now as I told you that each and every mathematical question can be proved. Yes, let's prove this one. If we expand it, our answer must be this one. Yes. So, let's expand it. We can start by expanding by this one. It's up to you. Or we can start by expanding these brackets. It will be up to you. Okay. Let's start by putting this three in this bracket. So, we have here 9 plus 3x. We expand it to 3 minus x. Right. Let's move on. 9 times 3, that is 27. Here, negative 9x 
then here plus 9x minus 3x squared like this yes remember as i told you this 9 will multiply the full bracket and this positive 3 multiply the full bracket so 9 times 3 that is 27 9 times negative x that is negative 9x then positive 3 times 3 that is positive 9 positive 3x times 3 that is positive 9x and positive 3x times negative x that is negative 3x squared so minus 9x plus 9x this is going to cancel out each other then we remain with 27 minus 3x squared proved so it means our answer is 100 percent correct yes let me choose the last question from that past exam paper if you like these revisions don't forget to click on that like button you have to like it right it is given that f of x there are many people they think that if they see f of x they think that no now it's complicated there's nothing that is complicated here f of x is equals to 10 plus 3x minus x squared hope that is clear find f of 2 find f of 2 not f of x f of 2 find f of 2 find f of 2 then the second question on this one is find the values of x when f of x is equal to 0 okay let's uh, simplify this one first and then we we'll do the second part of this question when they are now saying find f of 2 it's simple and straightforward they are just saying so f of 2 is equals to 10 wherever there is x you are going to substitute x with 2 so put 2 here minus 2 squared like this right it will be 10 plus 6 minus 4 10 plus 6 what is the answer that is 16 minus 4 so 16 minus 4 our answer will be 12 this will be our final answer yes so now let's do the second part of this uh, question. The second part of this question is find the values of x when f of x when f of x is equals to zero. Find the values of x when f of x is equals to zero. Okay, uh, because of our time. I'm not going to solve this on this episode. So if you want to see how to solve this one, you must watch the second episode on Sample of TV. I hope that you benefited on what we revised today. Don't forget to subscribe for more beneficial uh, revisions like this and click on the bell button for notifications. If you didn't subscribe yet and you are studying mathematics, you have to subscribe to this channel such that you understand how to solve some uh, questions. I hope that you are staying focused wherever you are to stay focused to revise mathematics each and every day. Don't forget to tell your friends about Sempov TV YouTube channel and also like my Facebook page Sempov. Stay focused.